Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to put parental restrictions on any iPod Touch. So first step is you're going to open up the settings application and you're going to scroll down and under focus you should see screen time right here. Now if you don't see screen time that means you're using an older iPod Touch so instead you're going to use the old way which is to go into general and then there'll be a page which says restrictions, tap into that. Now on the newer software versions we just tap into screen time and then you see here turn on screen time, tap on this one. Tap on continue and then you're going to see here this is my iPod touch or this is my child's iPod touch. So if you're a parent you're going to make sure that you select this one here. This is my child's iPod touch and then downtime you're going to see start and end. So what this means is it will uh, block all the applications uh, after this uh, downtime has started. So after 7 a.m. let's say. Uh, the downtime is going to start which means applications cannot be accessed so you can uh, set it up if you would like I'm going to tap on not now and then you have app limits so you know you can limit games for x amount of time you can limit the social media for x amount of time so just tap on which one you want let's say games and we'll set on here time amount so we'll tap on the set tap on that and then you can uh, restrict how much time can be set so let's say uh, you want you know three hours three hours a day Let's let's say let's say thirty minutes uh, on the social media, or uh, you can set that as well. So we just tap on set app limit, and then content and privacy. You just want to tap on continue for this one, and then you see here set screen time passcode. So you want to make sure you remember this passcode. So I recommend you know just set a passcode that isn't easy to remember. Like you know if you if someone just guesses in zero 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 zero, then obviously that's not secure. So uh, let's just do let's say five eight one three. This is the passcode I always use personally for literally everything in my debit cards so don't steal my debit cards and then you see here screen time recovery so here's the deal right if your child has their own apple id on here what this means is that they can use their apple id to remove the screen time lock without the passcode which obviously you can see the issue with that now uh, what i recommend you do is if that's the case you have two options the first one is you just want to tap on cancel and then you see here skip, just tap on skip. But keep in mind, if you forget the screen time passcode, the only way to get access to the iPod Touch fully will be a factory reset. So it's not the end of the world, but that's something to keep in mind. Otherwise, you could set your own Apple ID inside of here, and then uh, you'll be good to go, but that's up to you. So I'm just going to tap on skip for this one. And then just like that, you should see screen time will be turned on. So it's going to show all the apps your child has been using in the daily uh, uh, average here. You also have see all activity. So you're going to see by the week and by the day. Keep in mind that if you went to the restrictions area inside the settings, you will not have this detailed information. Instead, you will need to go to the battery settings. So uh, usually it's like just inside of here, settings battery. But sometimes it may be inside the settings, general, and then there may be some usage. Just tap on the usage and then that will show the detailed information which you see inside of the screen time area so you always you have these options here downtime app limits always allowed and content privacy i recommend you just mess around with this uh, it's self-explanatory you know schedule time away from the screen uh, for the downtime which is you know basically you can use your ipod touch meaning you can unlock it but all the apps will be blocked and then you have here app limits which is for certain apps if you would like and then you have always allowed which means let's say you want to have the phone app available well phone app isn't on the ipod touch let's say you want to have the messages app available at all times you can have that on and then content and privacy restrictions what you can do is you can block you know uh applications which are like 17 plus or even 12 plus if you want uh content restrictions let's say safari you don't want like explicit websites all that good stuff it's best that you mess around with this instead of me going for every single toggle because you know you're the parent you know what you want your ipod to, uh your ipod you you know what your child wants to see and not want to see so just mess around with that make sure you do have stuff set on because if everything is left to default i mean there's no downtime there's no app limits and there's no restrictions what that means is the child can just press turn off screen time and it will literally turn off uh, if you have restrictions, if you have the app downtime, you can see the screen time passcode is required. And of course, if you enter in a fail passcode, it will permanently show here, fail passcode attempt. So what we can do is if you're ever curious to see what your child's doing, if you tap on turn off screen time, it will show how many times they've attempted to turn off the screen time passcode. So uh, that's uh, something to keep in mind. Of course, when you enter in your own screen time passcode, you can see just like that, uh, we have the option to turn off here. However, I'm not going to do that because... Um, you know, I just want to keep it on for now. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.